Hello, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. For today's video, I have for you some needle books. And if you're not familiar with a needle book, I will explain what it is, but honestly, it's a way that I can combine some of my other loves, which is junk journaling, which is like bookmaking and, and handmade journals. And this is a way that I can incorporate sewing and fabrics and also make a journal. So this is not necessarily a journal that you can write in, but it is a needle book. Now these are old fashioned things and usually they were kind of put together by hand. This one is all sewing machine stitched, but the idea is that you keep all your needles and your things inside and you kind of have a handy little place to put them. So let me go through this and the way that you make them, I'm gonna just start here first, is you lay several strips of fabric, like scrap fabric or whatever you have, like ribbons, little pieces, bits and pieces that we all collect when you're quilting or you're sewing. And so you would just kind of line up and I just edged everything with pinking shears, so nothing fancy. And then I just kind of layered them up and then I stitched all the way down the middle. Now you can hand stitch these. In the old days, they would all be hand stitched. And so you can definitely do that. You can also staple them together and you can pin them together. So you don't have to know how to sew. Uh, if you're doing embroidery, this is a really great way to hang on to your needle and some embroidery floss and things like that. So with that, I'm just gonna walk you through my own personal needle book and I made several here, some I'm making for gifts, some I'm making because I get bored with one craft or another. And so anyway, this one's my personal one. But I have some buttons here. I have a little sewing machine charm and then another big button here. And some baker's twine and other twine. I have some Tim Holtz fabric. And then this is from Simplicity. And I just used a little piece of that that says needlework and a funny little quote and then inside um i have that kind of measuring tape stuff uh it's just fabric it's not you could actually use a real measuring tape if you want to cut one up one that's kind of tattered or falling apart or one you hate you can just sew it in and uh this is just a little piece of lace that was kind of laying around so really not much purpose to that one this is a pocket here and I have these fold up handy dandy scissors, which I love by the way for embroidery and, and just regular everyday stitching. They're super cheap. You can get them from Amazon and actually you can even pick them up at Walmart. That's where I picked them up the first time. And there's some ribbon here, um, some pin striping there. And then this, I just made a little, little tag and it has a sewing machine stamp that I stamped onto muslin and then put a little charm and uh, one of those cool safety pins. And so that's just kind of stitched there and it's hanging there just for interest, you know, because I want it to look cute. And so that's where I have my ideas from junk journals. This is an idea from junk journal. It's called a belly band. And what you do is, you know, you can easily slip a piece of paper in there if you're like jotting down notes for a pattern or whatever you don't want to lose it or if you have just some I don't know maybe some strips of lace or just other stuff you're working on you can actually keep it in here and it it stays put because it's fabric on fabric and so anyway so that's just a way to kind of hang on to that and if you notice it's just a ribbon that I laid straight across and you can access it this way. And then I have some safety pins on there. This thing in the center is actually wool felt and I got it from Hobby Lobby a while ago. And so this is 100% wool and wool is great for your needles. It actually sharpens them. And so I have like a little, just a pin in here and a regular felt heart that I also machine stitched. Um, this is just like a duck canvas, and again, just pinking shears around the edge. I didn't really finish any of these. Um, this is just a couple scraps. There's another very nice size pocket right here. And then another side pocket. And I have a piece of, this is from my junk journal stuff. So just a little folded up piece of paper because sometimes you're 
making some notes on a pattern or something like that. And it's just handy to have it. So anyway, that's my little needle book. This one is the same exact, I mean, not identical, but it is similar. It's just larger in size. I like the little tiny one because I want it, like it's easy to throw it in a bag or my purse or something like that. Another random piece of lace, a pocket here for that I'll put some scissors in and then scraps, the same exact kind of little taggy, um, same belly band. Anyway, so I put the heart here instead of here and really that's kind of the only difference in that one. So I'll set that here. And then this one I've been working on and this is also another like a canvas, which is nice, but this one is not as strong as that. This, by the way, didn't mention was an old vintage placemat and I think it's from like the 60s so I really kind of love the colors and the look of it so this is a bit quilted and it really holds up well and I'm saying that because this one is just canvas cloth and it's kind of rolling up on me a little bit so that's kind of annoying but overall it's fine um here's that stamp again for the sewing machine just to kind of indicate what's going on. This is just a placeholder. I don't have this tight yet, but I'll be hanging some buttons and charms off of that. And the color scheme on this one is a lot brighter. So here's a belly band going this way. Just a piece of muslin fabric with a stitched heart, um, canvas cloth. Here's a little bit of that um, Tim Holtz fabric. Uh, leftover piece of I don't know, ribbon and pin, pin tuck, pinstripe fabric. And then um, again, wool felt for your needles. A pocket here, a little tag here. This one is blank. Um, one of those paper um, pockets. This is from that Simplicity also. They don't have heads, but that's okay. Still looks cute. And what else? And a big pocket here, which I really like because you can, you know, put a bunch of different things like embroidery floss if you're embroidering or even a spool of thread actually would fit in there pretty nicely. So here's the same exact one, just the belly band is a little bit different. Same, 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 everything kind of. So, you know, I kind of work you can tell I'm working in batches on these uh, because they look pretty similar. And then these are much smaller ones. This fabric I bought at a thrift store and it was just like leftovers from a quilt that somebody had made, but it was kind of cute. And so I just kind of added some of these fabrics. Again, if you, if you sew, you're gonna have some fabrics and stuff just sitting around. And so you can just gather it all up. And this book is a lot more simple. Um, there's not that many pages. It's just one one in the middle with the wool heart and then one at the end. So this one just has a little bit of lace stitched. Um, I did stitch a little scrap here with a heart also on it. This is just a part of that quilting fabric I put in a little pocket here. Actually kind of a nice big pocket and then just kind of stitch that. I have some elastic here. I'm going to sew a little button for a button closure and I'm sure I'm going to be hanging some ribbons and charms off. I, I kind of like doing that. This one is corduroy off of probably a pair of old pants and then same kind of antique heart, um, same quilt fabric and just leftover scraps again. Um, this one has a heart like this and then I added a strip of fabric like this so that it could hold on to some embroidery floss or I don't know ribbon I don't, I'm not sure sure what would be hanging off of it but whatever you want to hang off and then a pocket and then nothing here I could actually add another pocket here and then that closes so um you can just tell like I've got funky sewing here I it doesn't matter to me it just adds charm they're just to Put your needles in there so that you're not using a pin cushion because a lot of times you can't do that. These lay flat 
you can put them in your purse. You can take them out to work, like at a doctor's office or something. They're just very, very cute and very useful. And I can see why in the olden days, they had needle books for the little girls, for moms, for grandmothers, and everybody who loves to sew. So if you have some scrap fabric laying around and you have a seamstress in your home or in your life, make one of these it doesn't take you very long. I think the longest thing is to grab all the fabric. So if you like this video, would you please subscribe because that helps me. And then also um, click on the bell icon. It'll let you know when I have new uh, videos uploaded. If you're into journal making or just Bible journaling or art, um, just stay tuned and join me as I craft in my kitchen. So until next time, bye.